I'm in the sore loser camp here on this. Mm-hmm. Field. Do the Lakers and Raptors sound like, look like sore losers here? And yes, I, look, I, I'm sure Uncle Dennis asked for a lot of things, mm. you know, uh, but that doesn't mean the Clippers gave it to him. I, Jerry West, Lawrence Frank, Doc Rivers, that group knows the rules and I'm sure played by them that Steve Barber's not going to allow that kind of shenanigans to go on. So, yeah, I, I think the Lakers are sounding like sore losers pushing this story out there. Oh, definitely they are. Um, I'm going to go to the well, one of my favorite sayings. The have-nots always have to have a story why they don't have. And you know what? <laughs> Think about all the times you took an L, you wanted something, but you just couldn't get it. You just couldn't take it like that. You had to give the story, the validation, why she didn't give you her number, you know? Mm-hmm. Why you didn't get the penthouse suite when you know it was only a floor up? Oh, it costs too much. No, it don't. And somebody <laughs> right behind you said, I'll take the penthouse. You know what I'm saying? You want an upgraded first class. You're sitting there like, how much? Oh, man, I, the plane going to land at the same time. Uh-huh. Yeah, That's it real. is. Different leg rooms, no, different comfort. <laughs> My point is this. I don't believe anything coming out of the Lakers or Raptors camp right now because, one, they are liars. And how, are I, how do I know they're hmm. liars? Because Kawhi and Uncle Dennis said, don't tell anybody anything. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Clippers were losing the narrative the entire week of free agency that they were in third place because they wouldn't say anything to reset it. But you kept hearing about flight paths from Toronto and where's the plane going here? Where's the plane now? Where's he staying? What's being discussed? Lakers and Magic Johnson. Oh, you know, Uncle Dennis gave me a call. We talked about free agency even a couple years ago. And the Clippers sat quiet. So when someone already lies to a Kawhi Leonard and leaks, why are you going to believe him now? Because everything else that follows that must be in the same camp of lying. So I'm sorry to say it. They're just making up story now to put him into a camp that maybe LeVar Ball exists. Uh, Uncle mm-hmm. Dennis. Let's try to portray him in a different light to now forecast issues for the Clippers. But don't believe none of this smoke. Well, I got one word for all of this. Whatever. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, everything has was very quiet. Chris and I, you know, have been in the business for a long time, and there was no reports coming out of any of the camp, of Kawhi Leonard's camp, meaning the Lakers, Toronto, the Clippers. And when you tried to reach out to find anything, nothing came out. And with the exception of our good friend right here, who reported first about Kawhi Leonard, it was crickets. No one heard anything. So I'm like, whatever, let's move on. Kawhi Leonard made a decision. He made a decision in a way that went about it um, with the teams, he laid the foundation. But more importantly, he allowed them, to, he told them, and, and, and it was executed beautifully, in my humble opinion, that nothing was going to come out. If anything did come out, you know, you had no chance at all. And that's, I think that's what you saw. Mm. I'm sure these two teams, the Raptors or Lakers, just putting this information out just to show that, hey, there's, there's some wrongdoing going on and we need to, you know, investigate and, and get this uncovered. But... If the shoe was on other foot, if he signed with the Lakers, would this be coming out on, on their behalf? It, it would not. And, you know, look, Uncle Dennis, whatever, I don't know what was asked. I don't know the details or anything of that nature. But I will say this. I know for a fact he would probably wasn't the only one to ask for, for, for certain things like that. I'm pretty sure other agents or other prominent family members who have, a, who have the power uh, to be in those meetings requested similar things. Like I said, I don't know if that happened or not, but it's just when Kawhi, this was a high-profile case. Yeah. With the Lakers, a high-profile team, they feel like, Lakers felt like, you know, this is the Lakers. They still have that stigma about themselves. Like, we're not getting beat by, by, by the Clippers. A high-profile top three player by the Clippers? That's not happening to us. And so they, they got deflated. The Eagles got deflated a little bit, and I think this is what happens. It's the end result. I, I take a lot of heat for this, but I always keep it real about LeBron James and, and, and his camp. Because it's amazing, because I believe this is coming from the Lakers. But, but if you go look at the history of LeBron and uh, Maverick Carter and Rich Paul, when they were in Cleveland, they asked for unprecedented access from Dan Gilbert, who gets to fly on the plane, all kinds of things. They basically fell out with Pat Riley about all the things that they wanted that other players couldn't get from the Miami Heat. And again, you, you may say their request fell within the collective bargaining agreement and wasn't legal. I wonder if Dan Gilbert and Pat Riley wouldn't tell a different story if they were leaking things out the way things are being leaked out now about Uncle Dennis. This again, or I don't think whatever Uncle Dennis asked for, I don't think it's unprecedented. I think what's unprecedented 
is that it's being leaked and talked about yep. because he didn't land you. in the right spot. Yeah. Because, again, trust me on this. If they knew Uncle Dennis was asking for crazy things, they knew it before Kawhi Leonard announced where he was going. Mm. Tell it then. Mm. Tell it in the... Oh, Uncle yeah. Dennis has made an illegal yeah. request. <laughs> Tell it. Leak that out now. Mm. They waited until after Kawhi signs with the Clippers. Now! Yeah. Mm-hmm. They tell it at Now all. that's too much. We <laughs> <laughs> ain't paying that tax. <laughs> we can't get that item. Now yeah. you don't, of course you ain't paying yeah. the tax. You didn't get the item. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Phil Jackson would talk about LeBron and his posse right now, yep. wouldn't he? And that's unfair. <laughs> And that's an unfair characteristic that you want to really talk about this group like that. But they know the game. It's, it's, they know the game from AAU. They know the game from the collegiate level. We all know how it goes. It's not just the bottom line anymore. It's how you're going to give me a, a, a circumstance, how you're going to give me resources to supply me with more than just what you're paying And Marcel, me. and it's a form of dry snitching. Because now they're looking at it they're saying, well, we ain't saying the Clippers – um, gave in to those expectations, but he did sign with the Clippers. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you know, right. you know what I'm saying? So well, now, now, you know, you want to put an investigation out there? Go, mm. go ahead. We see what team fell into those those favors. Ass. I, I, I'm. Go- this is what I really truly believe. I came into this hearing about Uncle Dennis and was like, "Here we go again, mm-hmm. another Lavar." Mm. I come on the other side of this and go. Oh, man, this dude is kind of about business. Oh, yeah. He kept it all under wraps. I don't know what this guy looks like. He's like the Al Heyman of of the NBA. I don't know what he looks like, but it was successful. They got Paul George. They got a championship team. His nephew is happy right where he's at. Uncle Dennis, to me, until these rumors came out, and again, the rumors don't bother me, he comes out of this unblemished, and I got nothing but respect for him. Yeah, I mean, the Lakers, Raptors, to a smaller degree, are all trying to deflect from a larger issue. And we know that larger issue is that, hey, man, these B teams are out there, you know, the Nets in Brooklyn or the Clippers out there. It's about what are you doing right now? What have you done for me lately? Not just throw the brand out there and just say anything. Uncle Dennis, let's get his story straight in terms of when he finally rose to a level of, like, you got to call me Uncle Dennis. He's the one that told Kawhi, stop letting San Antonio play you like that. That first misdiagnosis with the hand injury, you came back. But if it happens again, we going to stand up. And it happened again with the quad situation. Uncle Dennis is the one that told him, hey, bow that back, man. You Kawhi Leonard and gave him some encouragement. So now let's not get brand new on Uncle Dennis and then try and undermine what he's done for us. Well, also guy. who has history and precedent dealing with similar situations, this, right. this man right here with Derrick Rose. Mm-hmm. What Derrick Rose went through. I mean, you can speak to well, that. Well, yeah, you, you know, we went through this, and, you know, I think last time I was here, we talked about the Derrick Rose situation and the pushback that we received, not only from the organization, but from just the media in, in general. But the big thing ex- when you see this, especially when you're talking about today's players, is the following. It's the power. Who has the power and the, and, and the respect right now to really make these decisions? And right now, the players are talking. They're speaking loudly. And what they're saying is, we don't care how much money is out there. We're going to go play where we want to play. Mm. And I do, we don't have to agree with it, but I think all of us who are working with these young people today understand that these young people are turning down hundreds of millions of dollars to go play where they want to play, regardless of the situation. And so I know you agents people, ain't, they don't approve of that. <laughs> I know that for sure. I've heard. I've heard a few. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak For Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.